to Grim Nasty TV. As we look at this image over here, it looks like it's worth a lot of words here. Let me go ahead and explain and elaborate. All right, so for everyone that is in Bikini Bottom, that needs a little bit of SpongeBob voice to help carry you through. So what they're saying is, they disgraced the fallen angel first. They say, look, we want you to think that this is still his shit because somebody's missing an eye. That's the first thing they show you. Next thing they show you is that is what is behind this purge is a conglomerate of rituals because you're in a cult. Cult you are. You're in a pop culture. So take a look at your culture. Your culture is nothing but rituals for their shit. So say, for instance, somebody comes rolling up to your house, hypothetically. Just say hypothetically, if this were to even step across your doorstep, hypothetically, what do you do about it? My strong sense of ritualness, of disregard of such, is telling me exactly what I probably likely should know in this kind of situation. These people are going to be walking around looking for mailboxes first. The first thing they're going to know is does they, do they have a military post in their yard with numbers on it? Are they on the cell block? Do they got an American flag floating hanging over the door, which means that they're at war. The red and white one means that you're a civil entity, which means uh, civil is, uh, is a dead entity because civilization and civil rights are not authorities of the sovereign. Now, the sovereign is still holding a trick bag because the sovereign is hanging on to the fiction that started with the original constitution, which was just a con. And the constitutor passes it dead over to somebody else, which was the people. So it was like a hot potato situation. So knowing all of these things, I see that the purge likely, okay, if it were to happen, and this is hypothetical, I'm not giving any permission slips. I'm not, I got to say all, all of it like this, because if I don't, motherfucker, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. somebody out there is going to be like, aha, yeah, yeah, yeah. keep in mind that the people that are running this are not, it's not the genius that created it, all right? It's not the case. So you got a bunch of people running around piggybacking off someone else's ideas, trying to get food, trying to eat people. I wouldn't even say it's food at this point. It's probably more so some kind of a, a, a passing over to, to people who probably do want to eat it as food, like a full-blooded reptilian versus like a skinwalker who's eating yogurt most of their life and then suddenly surprised they want to eat people. Well... I've got news for you. You're not a real deal reptilian because you don't really you don't really like to eat babies. You just don't. You're just fucking playing along and uh, you're faking the funk. And I'm not telling you to go eat babies. I'm saying stop with the fucking nonsense. Nobody needs to eat babies up here. Nobody needs to hurt them. Not above ground. No. All right. So let's get to the details here. You've got a military post in your yard. You got cell block numbers on it. You're on the grid. Probably got a flag in the front yard. All the things that these assholes are looking for when they come rolling up to your house for a purge. It's the same rituals as the police. They want to know who's got a license plate. Who's got is it, run the license plate. Does it say it's ours? That's what they want to know. They want to know who's in their territory. Who's in there. Who's holding the presumption. Who's hanging on to the traditions is true. All right. Fourth of July was a lie. July on the fourth because the Treaty of Paris showed us that we were given up to the crown and not the real one. The one that's got a damn uh, long tooth, long teeth, but green skin and nasty prickly skin and shit like that. The queen of England. Queen of fiction, get it? So there you have it. What do we know? Don't hold any of these things true. You hear anything about chaos and weird shit going on in the streets? Dude, get rid of your goddamn mailbox. Get rid of the numbers on your house. Get rid of your goddamn ID. Throw it away. See what I mean? They come rolling up to your shit. They all follow the same fucking rituals, bro. The same rituals. The police are running the same rituals as the original Satanists. When they were looking to see who it was, they want to know if you're a part of the fiction. You might even have somebody asking you, hey, man, look at this house. Hey, buddy, where are you from? Give them a brochure. Tell them I come from the center of the earth, motherfucker. I'm a damn unicorn. That's what I am. I'm from the center of the earth. Whatever. 
who knows, unicorn might even be a, a, a phrase, but uh, that they might have made up because it comes out of the English language anyway. See what I'm saying? I just don't trust anything. I can't, I don't trust shit. I'm just like looking under every fucking damn turtle shell rock. Like, where is the truth? Like, I'm telling you, man, it's bad. So everything that you see in this image is revolving around the purge. Garbage full kids coming out the last second telling you that there's going to be some kind of weird shit with a purge going on. Purge, the movie even showed you. But what they showed you is that it's all about hanging on to the culture. The culture is a vulture. All right. So keep your eyes open. Know that it's nothing but a game being played. Everything that you thought you were is a lie. Just forget about it. Go to the light, stare into the sun, uh, raise yourself up out of this nonsense. This shit is some bullshit. This shit is some fucked up shit. It's not cool. These reptilians, they don't give a shit about us. Obviously, we've been telling them to apologize what appears to be almost a year now. And they don't want to they don't want to come out and be nice. But hey, we stick to our guns. The creator will deliver us. She will. We're going to stick with the light. We're going to keep going. And uh, in the end, we will succeed. We will survive. And this is over one way or another. So you just got to know that that's true. All these images, all these media things, they're nothing. They're, they, they don't mean anything. It does show clues as to what they like. But know that this is nothing but a bunch of bullshit. You get rid of all this stuff. Take the jacket off. Take those damn striped pants off. Take that shit off. Be done with it. And uh, that's what I do. That's all I do. People say, hey, man, I sent you the money. I'm like, oh, that's credit. Immediately, I'm on top of it. Nope, that's credit. That's tokens in a video game. This place is fake fictional. Got to gotta stay on. You got to stay on top of it. Keep it in your mind. Never forget. Onward through we go. The fog, that is. And into the fire. Because when we get awake, we stay awake.